has certainly been a long time that in-person learning has started for many kids across West Michigan by now, but that means school buses are also out on the roads for the first time really since March. Here to give us a refresher on the law regarding school bus safety, Attorney Tom Sinus of Sinus Dramus Law Firm. And Tom, first and foremost, I guess, what's a nice reminder of the, some of the basic rules that drivers need to keep in mind when they encounter a school bus on the roadways? Well, it has been a long time and it's easy to forget. So I think the simplest way to think of this is probably the way most people think of it. When you see a bus activating certain lights or signs, you really have to treat that bus as if it is like any other traffic control device. That is a stop sign or a traffic light. So when it's the lights on the bus are doing certain things like a traffic light would do, you've got to heed the warnings of those particular lights. But we do have a very specific law when it comes to what you have to do when a bus is stopped. And I'm just going to read it. It's just one sentence. It says that when a bus is stopped and displaying two alternating flashing red lights, the driver of the vehicle must bring the vehicle to a full stop, not less than 20 feet away from the school bus, and shall not proceed until the school bus resumes motion and or the visual signals are no longer activated. So when the bus has those two alternate lights displaying, you have to be very specific and purposeful in stopping and stopping 20 feet away and staying there until the bus is ready for you to move again. Good reminder indeed, Tom. Let's talk about some of the penalties out there for those who break the rules. Well, right now, the statute is the way it has been for a while. It is what's called a civil infraction. Many people think of it as a ticket if you break the rule. It can also uh, subject you to community service. Interestingly, the legislature seems to be very interested in increasing penalties for people who break this rule, because I think we all have seen that it's happening too often. So there are bills, and of course bills are not law, but there are bills in Lansing right now that would make violating these rules a misdemeanor in one instance, could also subject you to the loss of your license. But whether those bills become law remains to be seen, but this basic point is true. And we've talked about this before. Drivers on the roads, whether encountering school buses or anything else, are always required to exercise reasonable care. And some of these rules of reasonable care are set forth in our law, like the one I just read. And so if a, if a driver violates that rule of reasonable care and heaven forbid injures or kills someone, then that driver is liable in a civil lawsuit. So whether it's the criminal penalty or the civil penalty, everybody needs to remind themselves to take this moment in time with school buses on the road to be extra careful. Yeah, some important stuff for sure, Tom. How do people track you down? They want more information. Well, they can find us online at www.sinusdramus.com. They can shoot us an email at info at sinusdramus.com or give us a call in West Michigan, 616-301-3333. All right, good stuff. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Derek.